Hello, viewer. Welcome back again to another class on uh, this aspect of motion. We are be on this uh, area now. I want to conclude today. I want to conclude now. We are giving three questions. With these three questions, we are going to conclude this aspect of uh, motion, the uh, motion under gravity. Now we are giving three questions there. The first one you can see there. It says a rock is released from rest on a 700 meter building, how long does it take to hit the ground? Now we are asked to calculate for the time. It means that this rock now is uh, released from the top of the building. Okay, now we can use the second equation of uh, motion under gravity. And what is the formula? is simply H equals U T plus, you know the body is coming down, whenever it's coming down it's positive, it becomes positive that it has GT squared. Now what can we do here? We have the they gave us the uh they gave us the the height of the building and the 700 meter and uh, what the, the initial there the initial uh, velocity it was not given okay yes see the body is coming from the top moving from up to the ground it means that uh, we are having u to the zero whenever I've talked before I've uh, talked before whenever a body is moving like this whenever it's going up v is equal zero and you would, when it's coming down, it is called, uh, since the body is coming down, or it becomes zero. Therefore, all we have here now, everything here is uh, just, uh, um, everything here is zero there, everything there, everything here by here is zero. Now, all we have here now, we can now say half uh, times 10 times, what is our, if we don't have the time there, we could we now be what is square. Now, doing this, now what can we do? We have to cross multiply. We have to cross multiply or multiply both sides by two. Multiply it by two, multiply it by two. By multiply it by two, here will be what? 1,000. Here is going to be 1,400. Here will be 1,400. Multiply it by two, I will be happy what? Uh, 10 t squared. Now, what can I do? I have to make t squared the subject there first. And after which I will divide this side by 10. You know what? 1,400. 1400 divided by 10, and when I do that, I'm going to be having 140. When I do that, I'll be having 140 when I divide here now. Therefore, now getting the square roots now, the square root of uh, both sides, I will have what? The square root of uh, uh, 140. Therefore, what can I do to have there? I will be having, sorry, this one is equal t equal to the square root of 140. t equal the square root of 140. Therefore, we'll be having our t. As uh, yeah, eleven point eight three. If you can do that, then you can do that on your own. If you have it for eleven point eight uh, in three seconds, eleven point eight three seconds, then what we are going to have there. Now, okay, then, uh, can you know, now look at the other. This one is the first one. We have just solved. We have solved the first one. This one is the first one. Now we can go to the second one. Now. What does the second one see? This one is the first one. Then we look at the second one. With the second question. It says a stone, a stone is thrown down from a cliff at 24 meters per second and hit the ground seven uh, seconds later. How tall is the, uh, the cliff? Therefore, we can also use the second equation. Remember, as we have stated it before, we have it there. We see plus half g. T square. Now they gave okay, we're not giving the height, we're not giving the height, we are, we are looking for the height. Therefore, now you know what H the H is the height equal to T. Okay, they gave all the uh initial, yeah, they gave all the initial, therefore we can use our initial to be 24. Okay, what is our time? They give us seven, and uh, what is the D our G, our G is 10, and what is our so our time will be, our time is for 7 seconds. Now what can we do here? When you do here, 7 times 4 is going to be 8, it will be 8. The many, how many? Oh, sorry, 28. 7 times 4 is 28, the many 2. Okay, 7 times 2 now uh, 14, so that to be 1, 6. Here is what? 1, 6, 1, 6, 8. Here is 1, 6, 8. Okay, now what can we do again? Now, this very one, we have 49, 49 times 10. Is one is a four nine zero divided by two. Now we do that, we divide it, we are going to be having there also we have there two, two into five, two into four, we are going to have two, two into nine, we are having uh four, the main one, that one put the one ten, two into ten, one five. Now let us have this one. Five plus eight is equal to three, the 
many one, okay, four plus six, you are having ten for that one eleven, okay, carry one again, two plus one is three for that one four. Therefore, our the height of what now the cliff now, the height of the cliff is a four one four one uh, three meter. That is the height of the cliff. Okay, this uh the first and the second one. We have, uh, we have calculated it now, we have calculated the first one and the second one. Now, I'll give you just three seconds to go through this uh, solution while I will uh, claim, I will not claim uh, the, this first part, I'll claim this part so that I can resolve the, uh, the last question there. We can solve the last question. Please, let me just give you some few seconds to go through why I claim. Okay, let us now look at the last part now, the last part of the question. You can see there, uh, person 3, is, is, the stone is dropped from a building and hit the ground 5 seconds later. How tall is the building? Okay, we can solve that. Let us see what we can do there. We say, how tall is the building? Now, what formula can we use? We can also use the same formula, which is H equal UT, UT plus half, half, gt squared. Now I'm doing this now, okay? In this one now, we have not given that. Uh, okay, the initial, see the body is falling from the top now to the ground. It's falling from the top to the ground. Therefore, our initial is zero. Everything here is zero. Therefore, our H now is going to half uh, gt squared. This is what we are using. Therefore, now we are asked to look for the height of the building. Therefore, we have H as the height there. And what is our g? Our g is there. And what is our time? They give us time that is 5 seconds. 5 seconds now, this one is 25. 5 times 5. And this is going to go 250 over 2. And the us is what we have here. Now, 3 to 25, we are going to be having 12. 12 remaining what? Okay, it will be left 1. That one now, we put it here to 10. It will be 3 to 10 become 5. Therefore, we have. One, two, five meters. This is all about uh, motion under gravity. This is all about motion under gravity. Today we are going to end the uh, class on this aspect, the motion under gravity. We are ending the class on this aspect. Meaning we now move on to the next uh, stage now. Our next stage will be types of motion. We want to look at the different types of motion. Under the different types, we are going to still calculate. We have a lot of uh, questions that we can also resolve under the types of motion. We are going to take them step by step as we progress. Thank you so much for uh, being on this platform. Uh, all the best. All the best. Thank you.